All right, my friends, today is a day to finally try and get a mailbox up so the mailman will stop returning our mail as unknown recipient. So, what I have, I have a mailbox, and I'm gonna put a four by four post, as I said in other videos, we're gonna put it in the gabby. Per USPS regulations, when I look on the USPS site, the bottom of your mailbox, it actually says bottom of the mailbox, needs to be between 40 and 45 inches. So if I take and I put my cross post here, right? notch out a little section put the other piece to hold the mailbox that way and then I'm gonna put a 2 by 6 on top of that this is 41 and a half inches to the bottom of the mailbox that's where the mailbox is gonna screw onto this 2 by 6 that's gonna be screwed onto this cross post which then leaves me I want to have two feet behind on the upright and then we'll put a cap on there and then gives me this extra here that will be the cross post that I'll notch and put on here what I don't think they fully anticipate is the style of mailbox that we got from a flea market somewhere. The wife liked the looks of it. She liked that it had a lock on it. So, this is our mailbox. Heavy duty. Mailman can throw the slot stuff in there. We can get our mail. It has a little padlock thingy on it once, once I put it all back together. I don't know if the electronics work, so we got a key for it. <laughs> now, they're expecting the, the typical mailbox to be, you know, bottom of the typical mailbox to be 40 to 45 inches so that they can reach at the 40 to 45 inch mark to put things in here. So I'm assuming the mailman's going to open this, shove our mail in here until I put this lock on instead of using the slot. So the mailbox sits. Still square. Let's see how bad I can mess this one up. is I can't detach the lock box so I have to keep pushing it out of the way. Thank goodness there's only two of these screws in the back. This mailbox does have a, a hole, a drip hole in every one of the four corners, so is, is, no matter which way, even if it's gonna, you put it, it's going to, any water that gets in there will run, run out. All right. Mm. 
There's the mailbox. And put a little cross brace in. Yes, I know. Nails are for horizontal, screws are for vertical, but the weight should be bearing on the wood itself. There. Perfect place for spiders to call home. Look at that little shelter. Beautiful. Took a 16-foot piece of utility panel, bent it with three-foot sides so we have a little bit of overlap. That was fun. And then we're just fishing some fence wire through to make a square. Now we're gonna find the 32 inch mark, wherever that might be, cut some pieces so we can fold the bottom together. And then we'll fish that together and this should theoretically be a big bucket for our mailbox to sit in. We got it done. We have, it's gonna be hard to see with gravel, 16 foot utility panel bent into three foot sections then we folded cut the edges and folded the bottom in like you're wrapping a present in order to hold them together all the panels we just used galvanized fence wire on the bottom just kind of wrapped everywhere it's on the bottom rocks are going to smush all this together so who cares what it looks like how it goes that worked and then on the overlap on the side this is actually going to be one of the, the back side we took some of the corner pieces that we cut out as we were doing the folding using various implements got them bent around to, to lock this together so it is not going anywhere it's the same metal because we just cut these corners out you know whenever we were bending the bottom cut cut now I had all these little well, what are they, two and a half inch pieces not the easiest task in the world you can tell lights going down but we were able to cut with some bolt cutters tried different ways of bending it what worked best for us was taking some pliers clamping them together to keep it close the two pieces of wire and then actually I think the channel locks slip joint pliers whatever you want to call them worked best for being able to bend this metal around. These bigger pliers just worked well to get the 90 degree elbows bent into a U that I could then drop on there and uh, mangle them with the slip joints. But there we go. All right, my friends, today is putting in our mailbox, this area that was done several months back. Came back, cleaned it up once because the road graders helped me. And now, use Junior, Reflatten this spot to put our gabion in that we made yesterday The gabion as you bend these around ends up being a little bowed on the bottom can't get a perfect 90 degree angle on this thick metal This is a utility panel and the idea was use this so that we can put the rock on the inside So put use the Mahindra put a little bit of dirt in the bottom This thing as you can tell is not going anywhere right now and then once we put all the rock in there and our mailbox in there we will have our mailbox set up have a little mesh on the inside we'll fill this up keep the mailbox level and then we will fill in all the bigger rocks on the outside and have our mailbox right here in this gabion with the front of the mailbox just past the edge of the gabion that's what our mailbox is going to look like as you go down the road all right my friends day two on the mailbox just got dark had to go to town put more of the big rocks in what i've learned works big rocks bigger rocks on the outside smaller rocks on the inside and then just to pack it all together i have these vines kind of like whatever throw them in there they'll sift in between all the other rocks and fall down some fall on the ground who cares and here 
is our mailbox completed. It's been about three months. I've had the road graders come down here once or twice. Not been bad. The little bit of heavy rains have caused a small rut right here. I may have to somehow get the, because it's a huge rut up there, it comes down the hillside and just washes. May have to work on that or just constant, constant maintenance. Don't know, but once you get down here, it's fine. Mailman's still been delivering our mail just fine, not had any problems. Put reflectors on both sides, to this side, to the other side. Um, got a, a solar light that obviously all these trees don't help the solar light stay lit, but surprisingly, that light does stay on. I've watched it 3 ish a.m. before it finally turns off. So that's good. And gravel road. So everything is dusty and dirty. But this gabion, I mean, you are not moving this thing anywhere. If I wobble it, you still have the banging because I haven't uh, mounted the little lock thing inside yet. But that's what we get. Nice big flat spot the Ventrac cleaned up. A lot of work with the Gabion. We put the where we folded the two pieces together. It's on the back. It's been sitting here for three months. No issues with mail since I put it up. Mailman's been uh, happy it's here. Not complained.